Hi everyone, this is Fisher Coder here. Today we're going to go through lead code problem 1198. Find smallest common element in all rows. This is labeled as medium difficulty level, but still I would think th this, this, this is a very straightforward question. Um, as we dive deep into the problem, you'll see. And so is the solution, very straightforward as well. But it would be a very good practice to practice CS fundamentals and prep for uh, coding interviews. All right. Uh, oh, okay, before we dive in, um, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot to spread the CS fundamental interviews like this one to a more broader audience. That's going to help a lot. All right, in that, in that set, let's dive into the problem. The problem for this one is given a matrix mat where every row is sorted in increasing order, return the smallest common element in all rows. If there is no common element, simply return minus one. There is one example given. For example, in this matrix, there are th four rows and each row has five elements. Say one, two, three, four, five, first row, two, four, five, eight, ten, second row, and it's that row for the third and fourth row. As you can see, if we can quickly go through using our eyes, we can see the smallest common element in all rows one the requirements for this for the answer is the element needs to be uh, needs to meet two requirements one is that it needs to be the smallest the second is that this element needs to be appearing in all rows that this matrix has so say five here in first row five here in second row five here in third row and five here in fourth row although it's not the smallest Admin, but it is the smallest one that appears in all four rows. So the output is five. And the interesting um, property or feature about this matrix is that every single row is in sorted increasing order, which um, apparently there is um, when, every, when the arrays are in sorted order, it, it's very natural that we um, think of binary search, right? So in this case, um, the problem is very straightforward. We basically need to find the smallest common element in all rows. That means we cannot skip any single rows that we don't go through. There is no trick that we, if we don't go through any rows, we cannot find to make sure that this element also appears in that row, right? So we have to iterate through every single row, but there's a trick or there's a, there is a time saving um, place where we do need to apply binary search because to fully utilize the sorted feature of all of the every single row of this matrix. Well, the algorithm that comes into mind is very natural. Basically, we, we just need to go through every, we, we go through the first row from the very left element because it's sorted. And whenever we, we the way we, that we go through the first row is by check the first element, whether the first element appears in every single other row of this matrix. If it appears, then this one is the answer and then we can just break out of the for loop because, why? Because the first row is also sorted in increasing order. That means there is no need to go through the, to finish the rest of the first row, right? Because it's guaranteed the later elements that appear in the first row will be, will be bigger, which is not what we want as an answer to this question. Right, all right, that's the algorithm. We just need to go through the first row and check from the leftmost, the smallest number to see if that's a viable candidate. If it is, we'll just return. If it's not, we'll, in, we'll reach, we'll just iterate through the first ray, first row until we reach the end of the, the first row. If even, even if say the last row, the last element of the first array is not five and it's not appearing in every single row, we'll just simply return minus one. Very simple, right? That's the algorithm. All right, now let's dive into the code. Mm. Here is the method API signature. We'll use two variables to indicate the, the length, the row length and the column length, which is I'm gonna use M as mat, just for simplicity. And as mat mat zero length. Now we'll just go through. We'll 
use the first row, as we just described, use the first row, go through every single element of the first row. That's good enough. Uh, so we use, we use i as the row index and j as, in, as the column index, which is the tradition. So that is easier to tell instead of confusing people, right? So we'll use j as the column index. As we said, we'll just go through every single element of the first array. So um, j equals 0, j smaller than n. n is the um, column, in, um, column max, j plus plus. And then we'll have a possible candidate variable to hold the uh, smallest possible common element that appears in all rows, which is going to be, in this case, would, will always go through the first array, so it's always going to be 0, and the column is going to be j. And then we'll have another variable called i. Now we'll go through i smaller than m. We'll go through all of the arrays, i plus plus. Actually, we'll start from the second row, which is at index 1, as we just said. The first row is just um, a century that we'll go through. And then here, um, we'll just check. Now, this is the, in the second follow is where we can really apply the sorted feature of all of the rows, which is apparently we're going to use binary search. Binary search which is going to take this row, a one-dimensional array, and then the target is going to be min common. We're going to implement this, uh, that binary search method in a minute. And if this is the case, okay, let me just write it down here that we don't forget. Otherwise, it's not going to compile anyway. Private uh, boolean will return a boolean value, and then Int, it takes one d-dimensional array and a target. Then we'll implement it here. If this is the case, um, if it does contain it, that means we can continue. This continue means that this array, uh, this row at index i, does contain this um, minimum possible common element. So we'll just continue to the second row, right? However, if it's not, we're just going to break, right, to save some time. Because if this, the array, uh, the row at index i that we're currently iterating through, if this row doesn't contain the main possible, the minimum possible element that is common in all rows, we can just break, right? There is no point to go through further. This is like a trim. So we can save extra time. And then here, we'll just check uh, i. That's the reason I put int i outside of the for loop so that we can have this variable still alive here. If i equals m, what does that mean? That means m is the outer length, is the max, max length of all of the possible rows of this matrix. If i equals m, that means we have finished iterating through all of the rows in this matrix which means this main common does appear in all of the rows, which is the, the answer that we need. We, because every single row is in sorted order, we don't need to go through the rest because it's guaranteed to be bigger, right? That's it. As simple as that. If, unfortunately, we don't find anything, after we break out of this for loop, that means we didn't find anything. We're just going to return minus one as the problem says. That's the algorithm, the main algorithm, right? And then we'll just quickly implement this binary search, which is very typical standard. Um, we'll have two pointers, left, right, lums, length, minus one, and then a while loop, left. While left is smaller than or equal to right, we'll just do this. The middle pointer to be like this. Have a middle point that check if lambs middle equals to target. So what this binary search does, just in case we have some freshers who don't understand anything at all, uh, binary search, uh, what this uh, method is going to do is that it takes an array of integers and there is a target as well. We are trying to use binary search to see if this target number does appear in this 
give an array. If it does, we're just going to return true. If it does not, we're just going to return false. That's it. So we'll have a middle pointer, left pointer, and right, right pointer to fully utilize the solid feature of this array. We check the middle index. If it's equal, then it's the most happy case. We're just going to return true. That means we found there is such an element in this array that equals to target, right? Else, if uh, nums mid is greater than target, that means we are on the right side of this array that is greater than the target, which means we're going to shift the right index to the left one of the middle one, of the current middle index. In the other case, which means nums mid is smaller than target, which means we, um, the, mid, the, mid, the mid index of the array lies on the left part of the idea of the possible answer. So which means we're just going to use, uh, we, we're going to shift the left pointer toward the right. That's it. Then after iterating through this um, given array using binary search, which, which is going to be much quicker than linear, which is going to cost us oh, log n time, then we have return false. If after we break through this while loop, we still didn't find anything that nums mid equals target, that means this given target doesn't exist in this array. We're just going to return false. That's the binary search algorithm we just quickly implemented. Now we have this entire program ready. Let's hit submit. All right, it's accepted. And the runtime is zero milliseconds, it's faster than 100%. And uh, memory usage is, is also 100%, it's greater than, it's, it's better. Because uh, as I said, we have a trim here. If, so say, we're fully utilizing, utilizing the sorted feature of every single row of this matrix. Say if we didn't find in this row that in this row that it contains the minimal common element we'll just break out instead of going through the unnecessary loops right that's it uh, if this tutorial helps you to understand the binary search or just uh, this lead code problem this lead code problem um, 11 19 8 find smallest common element in all rows Please do me a favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to cha our channel. We'll, we're publishing uh, lead code tutorials on a daily basis to help people prepare CS fundamentals, to prepare to ace through coding interviews, to land dream jobs in, fan, in either fan or great startup companies. All right, um, that's it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.